Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Jesus Salcedo with you in the um, Fundamentals of Electrics 1. Uh, my presentation today is the uh, Midmark M9 Ultra Clave Steam Sterilizer. And I emphasize steam sterilizer because we can use uh, x ray steril sterilizers and any other type of um, uh, sterilizers that are available in the market. The DC specific model right here is uh, mostly used in um, doctor's offices, dentists. If you go to the um, Midmark webpage, the new models are found are fine under the um, veterinary, like VA category. So I can you know widely use whatever. Um, Sterilization is required even in small operating rooms, you know, as something very uh, quick to be sterilized. So, I'm going to cover the overview, um, a little bit of the calibration, and the troubleshooting for this equipment. And the guys, it's very extensive, so I'm going to over and do a hands-on with everybody on the uh, temperature sensor. Okay, great. So now we're gonna see the overview of the machine. Um, first, what is the sterilization? Um, these specific machines, especially the autoclave, that the big one that we have in the back, they use high temp and high pressure to coagulate the proteins of the microorganisms present in the instruments, surgical instruments. It can be liquids, it can be um, recipients of whatever liquid we're using to be sterilized. So the high pressure and the high temp, they will kill these microorganisms, make them sterilized. Now, some of those microorganisms, they can survive, uh, especially for some uh, diseases. And that's why when there is um, a sense of where is the knowledge that the microorganism can be present, they use different type of sterilization that will kill them. So that's our sterilizer, an M9 Ultra Clay uh, sterilizer. Uh, wide open interchange. It can hold up to 140 instruments tight. That the suggestion for a good sterilization is keep good space between the instruments so all the steam can flow and all the um, all the heat can flow all over the inner chamber. So sterilization will be um, done properly. It can hold as well up to uh, a total of 90 eight millimeter containers or small containers to sterilize liquid that can be used. Or you can use up to um, 3,660 um, cubic centimeters of wraps. The thickness of the wraps, it has to be 2.5 centimeters. Wraps like gloves or any other type of uh, paper wraps, specific wraps used for sterilization, they, they can be sterilized by itself. But always uh, remember just not to fully load it, so it will be a proper sterilization on the equipment. Now, um, if everybody can see this wide opening here, it's what is the um, mouth of the reservoir. This is specific model holds up to 3.3 liters of sterilization liquid. It can be uh, replaced if it's not handy distilled water, they can be used. Uh, it's not recommended regular water because of the uh, proper chemical, you know, um, chemicals and minerals from the water, they can produce lately some uh, residue buildup in the inner sensor that we will see later.
Now, here we can see the, um, the flow diagrams. I'm going to try to make it. Um, and how the sterilizer, sterilizer works. Uh, first, it will fill the water. As soon as we turn on the equipment, And we set up the mode of sterilization that we want to use, like unwrap, pouches, liquids, or bags. The, the, uh, the PC work from the sterilizer will detect the setting that we have and will activate the valve, which, uh, which will start filling the liquid in the system. When the water sensor inside the inner chamber detects the proper level, will it stop the valve and will activate the thermostat there on the bottom, which will start the heating element in the inner chamber, and it will, con and it will start our heating process of the liquid that we have in the inner chamber. When the proper temp for the cycle that we select reach the, um, the right temp, it will start the, uh, the steaming process or the process that generates the steam in combination with the temp and the pressure in the um, heating chamber until it reach all the parameters required uh, as well for the cycle. When the cycles start running, there's an interaction in between the valves, the sensors that regulate the temp. If there is a presence of over temp or the temp start getting too high, the system will activate the fan of the uh, sterilizer to regulate the temp and the pressure, as well with the pressure valve to regulate, sorry, the parameters of the uh, specific cycle that we select. When the cycle is done, it will start a process of ventilation or pretty much a process of uh, bringing the temp down with the pressure down. And that will, at the end, conclude with you know, the end of the cycle. So pretty much it's an activation of sensors and uh, regulators that this sterilizer has to uh, ensure a proper uh, sterilization.